Remember to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update from First Cry Parenting. Teething rash in babies. A teething rash is another name for a drool rash, which happens when a baby is teething. Along with a teething rash, you can note other signs like sensitive gums, a baby's urge to chew on hard things, and irritability. Causes of drool rash in infants Drool has digestive enzymes, which affect the sensitive skin of the baby. The baby's skin reacts to the liquid and forms bumpy rashes that can irritate them and cause an infection. Home Remedies for Baby Drool Rash 1. Keep a small soft absorbent pad under the baby's face while sleeping. It will absorb the moisture and help to avoid rashes. 2. Mix a little aloe vera with petroleum jelly and apply this to the rashes. It will help control the itchy feeling. 3. Apply coconut oil to the rashes. It has antifungal and antimicrobial elements that will fight the bacteria in the rash. 4. Rub your baby's gums gently with clean hands. It can relieve them from the pain. 5. Give your baby cold water or juice that is diluted. It will make sure that the baby's throat is not too dry. Prevention of Teething Rash in Babies 1. Wipe the drool off. Use a tissue or a soft towel to clean the drool before it causes a rash on their neck, face, and other areas. 2. Use baby moisturizers. Use baby moisturizer around the area where your baby has been drooling to avoid the rash from spreading. 3. Use baby bibs. Use baby bibs to prevent the baby's dribbles from settling on the skin and help protect the baby from any rash. 4. Mild Baby Wash Use an unscented baby wash to clean the drool area and prevent the rashes. When should you call the doctor? 1. In case the rashes spread a lot. 2. If the rashes get too infected and start to smell bad. 3. If the baby is too uncomfortable and is struggling with these rashes. Don't get panicked, as teething rashes can be controlled. Make sure to take the essential steps to help your baby.